I'm interested in learning more about Charlie Munger's Tesla investment. You're in the correct place, I suppose. In this video, we examine the factors ranging from shorter delivery times to Tesla's impressive expansion that led Munger, a well-known figure in the finance industry, to recently praise the electric vehicle manufacturer. We look at the potential causes of Munger's change of heart regarding the business. We also talk about Munger's views on Elon Musk, the overvalued valuations of Tesla, and how to mix confidence with humility in investment. So hold on. Get a drink and prepare to understand why betting against Elon Musk can result in significant losses. First things first, though, press the like button. Subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about this. Now that that has been said, let's begin the video. Tesla has made some strides recently by cutting the wait period for delivery of its Model 3 and Model Y cars to only one week, despite the ups and downs in the price of its shares. This knowledge is quite comforting. The company's electric cars may see a significant rise in demand as a result of the shorter wait times. It could have been one of the reasons why renowned investor Charlie Munger abruptly changed his mind about the company in a recent CNBC interview. Despite his initial reservations about the electric vehicle business, Charlie Munger showered Tesla with admiration. He praised the business for its outstanding accomplishments in quick expansion. Munger went so far as to call Elon Musk's Tesla an amazing accomplishment in the American auto industry as a way of expressing his confidence in the firm and its ability to live up to his expectations. However, Munger's earlier criticism of Tesla and Musk stands in sharp contrast to this commendation. Munger complimented Musk as a remarkable man in 2018, indicating that he respects Musk's drive and entrepreneurial spirit. He also attacked Musk's actions, particularly his frequent use of social media, which has gotten him into trouble. Munger's remarks suggested that he believes Musk should exercise greater restraint in his public remarks and should concentrate more on running his businesses than using social media. Munger expressed doubt about Musk's intentions for space exploration, specifically the aim of colonizing Mars. Munger has claimed that such a project would be too expensive and risky to undertake. Munger's remarks are consistent with the reservations that several investors and business professionals have voiced over Musk's expansive space goals and his ideas for conquering Mars. Munger raised doubt about Tesla's valuation in 2019, claiming that, while he had no idea if they would succeed, the price given to them was excessive. Munger's remarks are a reflection of his conservative investment style and his conviction that businesses should be valued according to their fundamentals rather than hype or market mood. Munger has a reputation for investing in businesses with sound foundations and long-term growth potential, despite his worries about Tesla. Tesla has nonetheless become one of the most valuable corporations in the world, with a market valuation of more than $600 billion as of January this year. Munger's change of heart about Tesla is a testament to the company's important achievements and sway in the market. I can still clearly recall this incident. Munger echoed similar views on Elon Musk during the Daily Journal's 2019 shareholder meeting, but he added that he wouldn't personally hire him. At the time, it was astonishing to learn that Munger thought he would rather hire someone who is aware of their limitations than someone who isn't. Munger agreed that overconfident people can occasionally accomplish enormous achievement, nevertheless. This is where we need to stop and look at Munger's statements very carefully, he said. He didn't want to be around by folks who frequently overindulged and live in delusion. He preferred to surround himself with responsible people instead. A shareholder of Daily Journal asked Charlie Munger, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, about his thoughts on Elon Musk and Tesla's recent ups and downs during the company's annual shareholder meetings. Munger's remark emphasized the value of having a healthy balance between self-awareness and humility. Musk might be odd and occasionally exaggerate himself, he said, but he also might be right. It appears from Munger's comments on occasion that he views Musk as a formidable individual who should not be taken lightly. Investors that think a certain company or security is overvalued and will drop in price will utilize the short-selling approach to sell the stock short. An investor borrows shares of the company from a broker, sells them right away on the open market, 
and then hopes to purchase them back at a later date for a cheaper price. The investor can then repurchase the shares at a lower price, sell them back to the broker, and keep the profit from the price difference if the stock does indeed fall in value as predicted. Some investors believe the stock because Tesla has been the focus of a lot of debate and rumor over the years. In 2021, is overvalued and ready for shorting. As of its peak, investors had borrowed and sold shares worth roughly $47.8 billion in Tesla, with the intention of repurchasing them at a reduced price in the future. But in early 2023, Tesla's stock began to recover, climbing sharply by as much as 98% from the start of January to the middle of February. Despite persistent difficulties like COVID-19 lockdowns in China and supply chain interruptions, this increased trend was supported by encouraging news like better-than-anticipated fourth-quarter deliveries and good full-year delivery predictions for 2023. As a result, Tesla short sellers suffered large losses in the first two months of 2023, with mark-to-market losses totaling about $6.65 billion. By determining the current market value of the assets contained in the portfolio, the mark-to-market approach is used to determine the worth of an investment portfolio. Tesla still has about $15.75 billion in short interest, which is less than 3% of the stock's total float, despite these losses. This translates to a big drop in the number of shares shorted and an improvement in the company's overall market sentiment, even though some investors are still betting against Tesla. During this crucial period for Tesla, Charlie Munger has made additional public remarks regarding the firm. As vice chairman, he made a substantial contribution to Berkshire Hathaway's profitability and helped shape its investment philosophy, which made it one of the most successful businesses in history. Munger gives wise, succinct advice. Sellers can verify that placing a wager against Elon Musk can result in substantial losses. Due to his investments, wisdom, and thoughts on life in general, Charlie Munger is a well-known and respected figure in the finance industry. As an aside, while both BYD and Tesla are businesses that concentrate on electric cars, they differ greatly from one another. Tesla is an American business with a focus on sustainable energy and electric vehicles. Elon Musk started it in 2003, and its main objective is to hasten the switch to renewable energy. Tesla features a variety of models, including sedans, SUVs, and trucks, with its primary focus being electric automobiles. In order to support the expansion of its fleet of electric vehicles, Tesla is also investing in battery manufacture and developing autonomous driving technologies. Tesla is a Chinese firm that not only makes electric vehicles, but also rechargeable batteries, energy storage devices, and solar panels. Tesla automobiles are renowned for their high performance, long range, and stylish look. Since its founding in 1995, the business has grown to become one of China's major automakers. Unlike Tesla, BYD manufactures both conventional gasoline-powered vehicles and electric vehicles. Cars, buses, and lorries are among the electric vehicle models offered by the corporation. Bide has also contributed to the creation of technology for autonomous driving. In terms of monetary results, compared to BYD, Tesla has a substantially higher market capitalization. As of April 2023, BYD's market capitalization was approximately $100 billion, while Tesla's was approximately $870 billion. In terms of sales, Tesla has also performed better than BYD, delivering over 1 million electric vehicles in 2021 compared to BYD's whole delivery of about 530,000. Leaders in the electric vehicle market BYD and Tesla each have their own priority areas and tactics. While BYD produces both conventional gasoline-powered cars and electric vehicles, Tesla is primarily focused on the market for high-end electric vehicles. Tesla has produced more electric vehicles and has a greater market capitalization. However, BYD is also doing well and expanding in the Chinese market. BYD has been cited by Munger as his all-time favorite stock. While Tesla has a better market capitalization and a greater global recognition, Bide specializes mostly on reasonably priced electric vehicles and has a larger capacity for battery production.
In Munger's opinion, BYD's Chinese manufacturing capabilities pale in comparison to those of Tesla. Tesla has a greater selection of models, including high-end cars and trucks, whereas BYD primarily concentrates on inexpensive electric automobiles.